Hi there, this is Hawkeye again. Hopefully you just watched that first video where we talked about what settings to use on your camera and how to light your picture. I thought after I shot the video, you know, I talked about all that stuff and then what I do? I shot it with my big fancy camera and my wireless strobes. So I'm going to shoot a follow-up video using what you guys will use, which is a point-and-shoot camera, which I showed you before, the point-and-shoot camera, and my $40 light box from Amazon. Those lights that are on, like I said, come with... Sorry, trying to stabilize here. I'm not doing too good, am I? Like I said, the blooper reel for this, man, fuck. Anyway, the lights come with it. I'm stabilizing my camera with a tripod. Before you say, oh, that's some fancy tripod you got there. I don't have one of those. This is my grandfather's tripod. He was a photographer. This thing is probably older than I am. So that tripod's probably pushing 45. I'm not 45, but I'll bet that tripod is. And look at that. That camera screwed right on there. No special adapters, nothing. That camera is not even two years old. That's one of the nice things about photography. Some things never change. Five dollar tripod from Craigslist or eBay or the used camera store. And I'll bet you it's gonna fit on your point and shoot camera. And just to prove that I don't spend a lot of money on photography gear if I don't have to, uh, originally I was using shooting this guy on a reflective surface. What is my reflective surface? It is a broken poster frame. You can't see it underneath a bag of chips. There's a big old hole carved out of there. Bought a poster frame at Walmart for 10 bucks for my Iron Man poster, and it was a piece of junk. It fell apart. So I set it on this black blanket which was five bucks at the goodwill I mean seriously I had to fight a homeless guy to get it so I mean that's pretty cheap if you're you know taking blankets from homeless guys to use for your photography so we're up to what uh, you know ten bucks for the tripod thirty you know for less than fifty bucks fifty sixty bucks you got yourself a decent lighting setup here. And remember the um, the light box does come with a little tripod, so you wouldn't have to actually buy one of these up. Wouldn't have to actually buy another tripod. So, all right, I'm going to reposition the lights a little bit here. I'm oh, sorry, probably I'm not used to doing this video stuff. See how that uh, lights up in there? That whole panel is lit now. Not just look how small the lamp is. There's the light source. That's a pretty good shot. Look to the left and see how that big circle of light in there. And see how it diffuses even further into a bigger circle of less light. That whole panel is almost one light source. Even the top is creating its own light source from the reflective light coming through there. That's called the fusion. And that's how you get that nice soft light. And now I don't know how to get uh, get it back to kind of a room light. There we go. So, it's lit up. Now, uh, if it's too bright, what you need to do is just move the lamps back. Light loses its strength the further away it is there's a nice little mathematical formula. It's like half its strength for twice its distance or something like that. I can't remember and my teacher would be really pissed if I couldn't recite that, but sorry Dave. So, here's the camera. What did we talk about? We talked about stabilizing it. Done. Turning it on. There's the little flower symbol for macro push down. It's already in the macro setting. Done. ISO. 
pushing the button. And set to 100. I can't shoot any lower than 100. We'll see what that looks like. Alright. And we're going to have to zoom in a little bit. I don't like the zoom, digital zoom, because what it actually does is it crops your picture. It doesn't make your picture bigger. So you're actually just losing data. You're not actually making your picture bigger. You're just. Whereas a lens is a little different. A lot of focus there. Boom, there we go. All right. So we're all set. Take a picture. Boom. And it's hard to see on this, but it's a little bright. It's well lit, though. Kind of a big custom. Let's switch to something smaller. Let's get that big boy out of there. And sit him on the floor. Don't you run off. Uh, protect me from the homeless guy. Make sure he didn't come back after his blanket. And let's put this one in there. This is one of the Iron Man dino bots that I'm working on. Sorry, I'm looking at my camera and trying to look at the iPod at the iPad at the same time, and it's not really working. So, that's what it looks like. There's the back of the camera. It's not too bad. Let's zoom in a little bit. Boom. Not bad for 40 bucks and a $5 tripod. I'm seriously, that's all I'm using. I'm using a $40 light box from Amazon, $5 grandpa's tripod. The background in there comes with it. Like I said, this, this light box comes with a ton of stuff. It's reversible, so it's gray on this side and blue on the other. So I'll post this picture somewhere so you can see that you actually can get a decent picture with a point and shoot camera and nothing more than 40 bucks worth of gear. And I think that's the end of the video because I think I heard a homeless guy coming back for his blankets. So uh, if I get more requests for more in-depth stuff, uh, we'll do that. So thanks for watching and enjoy.